Hi everyone, Melissa Wick here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. This yoga practice is a class to awaken, to invite in this sense of freshness and aliveness, a vinyasa flow practice. So no props are needed. However, a couple of blocks may come in handy. So have them close by at the top of your mat and get into something comfortable and let's get this practice started. Let's begin on our backs in Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet touch, knees open. You could always slide a couple of pillows underneath the backs of your legs for more support. Have your hands intentionally rest either by the side or maybe hands on the belly. Maybe give your chest a little lift, slide the shoulders under, adjust and just get comfortable here, closing your eyes. Let's invite in one deep cleansing breath to fully arrive here together. So big inhale through your nose, let your belly and chest fill up. And exhale, let it go through the mouth release. All the air out, closing the lips, the mouth. And just start to presence yourself to your body. To your breath. And to this day. Breathing in and out through both nostrils. Feeling your belly softly rise and fall. And with each turn of the breath, you are enlivening the energy in your space. Wherever you sense or feel any stagnation, use your breath to invite in freshness to your body and the mind. Tapping into Ujjayi breath if that is in your practice. This enlivening quality, ocean sounding breath. Now from here, we're gonna reach the arms up overhead. As you do this, keep drawing the navel in towards the back of the spine. So as if there is a seat belt you're buckling to contain the abdomen here, ribs knitted in. Now I'll walk you through the first couple. You're gonna take an inhaling breath here. We're gonna do some butterfly crunches. As you exhale, you're gonna lift your chest, your shoulders, your arms, and then as you do that, you're gonna use the muscles of your inner thighs as if you're lift, closing the legs, but not totally. And then lift your feet off of the mat. So feet stay together. And then the arms come all the way forward and through as if the forearms or upper arms touch the inner thighs. So chest stays open as you do this. And then we'll lower back down. Breathe in, arms reach up, belly pulls in. Keep drawing the belly in as you exhale, lift your chest, arms come through, inner thighs engaged, feet together, lift the legs off the floor. And then inhale back up nice and smooth, really tapping into your inner power. Exhale, you lift, just awakening the body, the little muscles. Inhale, we'll do two more. Exhale, crunch, collarbones stay open without crunching the neck forward. And then inhale back to the ground, last one. Exhale, lift, engage and lower, good. And then closing the legs, bring the knees in toward you, give yourself a nice gentle hug, arms around your shins, you can sway or be still. 
can even use your biceps to pull the knees in. Feel this compression in your hip flexors. So we're going to meet in tabletop position on all fours so you could rock and roll with me or come over to one side and meet me there. Roll out your spine a couple times if that feels okay for you. And then you're going to cross your ankles, hands come forward, roll forward onto hands and knees, wrists under the shoulders roughly, knees under the hips, a few cat cows to open up the spine. So on the inhale, we'll release the belly, tilt the pelvis, heart comes through. As you exhale, push the floor away, navel draws in, nose towards your chest. Feel the shoulder blades peel away. And just a couple more on your own with your breath. Beautiful. Come back to neutral table here. Notice if you're dumping in your shoulders, can you gently push the floor away? Broaden the upper back, belly pulls in. Tuck your toes underneath. We're going to just invite in the core, strength of the core again one more time. Let your knees hover just a couple inches. Keep pulling the belly in. Push the floor away. Your eyes are just down softly on the ground here. So the back of the neck stays long. Tuning into your breath. Feeling the legs start to awaken. Nice and calm. Now lower the knees down. We're going to come into a nice gentle puppy stretch so you can point the toes here. Hips stay stacked over the knees. Walk or slide the hands forward, melting the forehead and the heart down towards the mat. You can always slide a prop under the forehead if you'd like. Slight pull in of the belly. Push down through your palms. Wrap your upper arms around and in. Feel this beautiful lengthening in the spine. Connect with your breathing. Good, and then walk your hands back under your shoulders, spreading your fingers nice and wide. Tuck your toes under, downward facing dog. So lift your knees, send your sit bones up and back. Bend your knees a lot here to start. Push down through all 10 knuckles long spine. Slight pull in of the belly. Wrap your upper arms around and in. Release any excess tension in the head. You want to feel your forearms magnetized toward one another so the arms are active. You can start to pedal it out. So bend one knee, bend the other. Whatever you like to do in your downward dog, just to open up. In and out. Breath through the nose. Now find some stillness here in your dog. You can always keep a slight bend in the knees whenever every time you come to down dog. It doesn't matter if the heels touch the floor or not. Now the next time you inhale, you're going to lift your heels and come forward to high plank. As you exhale, we're going to lower onto our belly. So knees can come down, bend your elbows toward the back of the mat. Nice and controlled. Tops of feet are pressing down. Fingers will come wide and maybe even in front of you slightly, elbows to the sky, rolling cobras. So as you inhale, pubic bone down, tops the feet down, the upper back is going to lead. You don't have to go super high and then the head is the last to come up, softening the shoulders. Think length rather than height. And then as you exhale, lower belly, chest, chin, forehead. And we'll do that twice more. Maybe you close your eyes, go inward. As you inhale, you rise, rolling like a cobra. Exhale, lower. Pinky sides of the toes are grounded. One more time, inhale. This time we're going to exhale and dip the right shoulder down. Peek under your left underarm. Only go as far as it feels good for you. No pain. Inhale, center. Luxurious breath, exhale, dip left shoulder down, peek under the right underarm, back to center, inhale, and exhale, lower down. 
Bring your hands by your upper chest, elbows hug in, tuck your toes under. As you inhale, pull the belly up towards the back of the spine, extend your arms, breathing in. Exhale, downward facing. One cycle of breath here. And now let's bend the knees, look between the hands, and walk or step to the top of your mat, forward fold. Cycle of breath here in your forward fold. Notice if you're leaning way back in your heels, can you trust to shift the weight forward a little bit, folding over the hip creases, finding some length in the spine, softening the shoulders away from the ears. As you inhale, invite in this sense of freshness to a halfway lift, fingertips to shins or quads, long spine, chin in, shoulders back, belly in, and exhale, forward fold. Let's rise, root down with your feet. We'll rise on the inhale, arms sweep up. Tail lengthens down, low belly zips in. Exhale, lower the arms down by your side. Tadasana, chest open. Proud open chest. Let's inhale, arms sweep up. Hip bones stay facing forward. As you exhale, twist to the right. Right arm goes back, left arm forward. Let the collarbone smile. Again, tail lengthens down. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Left arm back, right arm forward. Maybe your gaze follows your left fingers. And inhale, center as you exhale. Swan dive or hands come through center as you forward fold over the hips. Inhale, halfway lift, nice and smooth. Find that length. And exhale, plant your palms, step back, high plank. Now on your exhale, you can come down halfway, chaturanga, creating a shelf. And then point your toes, inhale, upward facing, or come to your belly and take cobra instead if you're not ready for upward facing, shoulders back. Engaging the glutes as you exhale, pull the belly in and bring your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Steady your eyes to focus on one point that will help to steady the mind and steady the breath. Nice clear pathway for the breath to flow. Now as you inhale, the right leg is going to sweep up, hips stay closed, keep pulling the belly in, push down through the palms. As you exhale, your right knee bends and with control, we bring it forward to step through, preparing for low lunge. Left knee comes down and then arms sweep up. So drop that right hip, zip up the low belly, softening the shoulders. Now as you exhale, let's take it to half split. So frame your right foot. You can slide the right foot forward a little bit and extend your right leg toes toward the face. And we'll just flow like this once more. Bend your right knee, inhale, arms sweep up. And exhale, half split. Now hold here. You're always welcome to use your blocks into your hands. Find this dragging action of your right leg, your right hip pulls in, soften the shoulders, just a little opening in your hamstrings. Beautiful, let's re-bend the right knee, plant that right foot down, arms sweep up. Now you could use a block here, I recommend to use it. If you have one, bring it to the outside of your right thigh here, any height setting you wish. And I'm gonna bring the right hand on that block. Left arm's gonna reach up and over towards the right. If you don't have a block, you can always place your right forearm on your right thigh, palm up. Now, be mindful, this is not a back bend. This is a lateral stretch. So your tail's lengthening down, low belly zips in, drop the right hip down and reach and arch towards the right side. So bow the left side. And bringing in this enlivening quality with your inhales. With a sense of calm and ease. As you exhale, there's a sense of returning home. Mm -hmm. 
Good, back to center, arms reach up. You can always pad up your knee if you need to, if the left knee. As you exhale, we're gonna to twist to the right. So take the outside of your left hand to the outside of your right thigh, right arm reaches back, twisting from the abdomen. Keep dropping the right hip down. And then dip the right arm down, reach both arms up, breathe in. As you exhale, frame your right foot. Now we're gonna tuck the left toes under, power up your back leg, preparing for warrior one. So you're gonna step your left foot out to the left. Now you're on two tracks. So left heel down, left toes fan out on a 45 degree angle. Right knee stays bent, back leg strong, arms reach up, warrior one. Right knee stays bent, really firm that back thigh. Your right hip is pulling back. So the hips are staying forward facing the front of the mat. Low belly zips in, arms reach up. Good, now lower your arms down and lengthen your right leg. Walk your back foot in a little bit if you need to and widen the stance so the hips are truly facing the front of the mat preparing for pyramid. So right hand on the hip, left arm will reach up, breathe in. Try to keep the bicep by the ear and micro bend the right knee if you need to. Keep drawing the right hip back, find length first. You're gonna feel your back body start to engage. So you're coming to fold here with a long, long spine. Again, bend the right knee if you need to, if the hamstrings feel tight. And then inhale. Feel the back body enliven, bicep by the ear. Keep pulling the right hip back. Find a lift back up, breathing in. And then as you exhale, we'll fold all the way down, both hands down, recommending to use blocks here under your hands, drawing that right hip back in space, folding here. Now you can stay right here if this is enough. If you'd like, left hand comes onto the block, either on the left side of the right foot or to the right side. Now, extending the spine, so you're lengthening as the right hip pulls back. Twisting from the abdomen, right arm's gonna open up. You can always walk the left foot out to the left a little bit, widen your stance if you need to. And then as you exhale, lower the right arm down. And dynamic twist here, a couple more. Inhale, rotating from the abdomen, right arm extends, lengthening the spine. And exhale, lower back down. Last one, inhale, open. Stay here for your exhale. Fix your eyes on one point. Connect with your breathing nice and smooth. How stable can you be? Good, and then lower down the right arm, blocks aside. Place your hands down and step back to downward facing dog. You can stay in down dog if you would like to flow. Nice and smooth, you inhale, come forward. As you exhale, either chaturanga halfway down, creating a shelf, or to your belly. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Engaging your legs, shoulders back, find length, chin in. As you exhale, downward facing dog. Just a couple cycles of breath here. Reconnect. Each time you inhale, you're bringing in this invigorating, energizing quality. As you exhale, there is a sense of grounding. Good, now nice and smooth. Left leg's gonna rise, hips stay closed, belly pulls in. Keep lengthening the spine, extend as you breathe in. As you exhale, left foot steps forward, nice and controlled. Right knee comes down, pad the knee if you need to. If you found the first side was a little hard, you can always fold your mat in. Arms reach up, low lunge, Anjaneyasana. Drop that left hip down, low belly zips in. Now as you exhale, half split. Frame your left foot, toes toward the face, find this dragging action, pulling the left hip in, and then we'll flow once here. Bend your left knee, arms reach up. And exhale, half split. This time we'll hold. I always like to slide my foot forward a little bit and then tap into the dragging action. 
softening the shoulders, finding length in the spine. Beautiful, let's re-bend the left knee. Slide that foot back a bit so the ankle's under the knee. Arms reach up. Now, preparing for that lateral here. Maybe you slide a block to the left side here, maybe on the highest setting. Right arm up. So drop that left hip down, low belly zips in. So the left heel's pulling back and the right knee is drawing forward. Lateral stretch up and over to the left, bow the right side. Chest open. And inviting in this enlivening, fresh quality with every breath. Beautiful, back to center, preparing for our twist. So twist from the core, abdomen over to the left, outside of the right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Left arm opens up. So you're finding this gentle traction with your right hand to the thigh. Stabilizing your lower back. Good, and then dip the left arm down, arms sweep up. And then as you exhale, frame your left foot, blocks aside, tuck your back toes under, power up your back leg, runner's lunge. Preparing for warrior one. So step your right foot out to the right. Don't be afraid to step it out. And then have the heel down, right toes in an angle. Left knee stays bent, back leg strong. When you're ready, extend the arms up. Adjust as you need. Left hip is pulling back. And then if you do that, sometimes the right knee likes to bend. Really firm the outer edge of the right foot. Arms sweep up. Left hip pulls back, low belly zips in. Good, now lower your arms and extend your left leg. You can always shorten your stance for more stability. So the hips are facing the front. Left hand on the waist, right arm reaches up, bicep by the ear. Breathing in. As you exhale, left hip is pulling back. You're reaching forward, belly pulls in. Always keep a little micro bend in the knee or a lot if the hamstring's tight. Lower down, find the length, reach nice and long with the arm. And then as you breathe in, enliven the back body, come back up nice and stable. And then as you exhale, Come down again, left hip pulling back, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And now we'll find our pyramid shape. You can use blocks here. If you stayed center last time, you can stay center again if you wanna invite in the twist. Perhaps a block under your right hand, either on the right side or the left side of the foot. I just find that when it's on the right side, it's a little more accessible. And then, so left hip's pulling back. Inhale, left arm's gonna open up. Twist from the abdomen. You can always keep the left elbow bent if it's too much to keep it straightened. Exhale, lower down. So moving dynamically twice more. Inhale, open. Exhale, lower. Meet yourself where you're at today. Each day is different. Inhale, and you can stay here for your exhale. Focus your eyes on one point that'll help to steady the mind. Not attached to what may be coming to the surface, just witness, observe, integrate and evolve. As you exhale, lower the left hand down, block aside. Let's plant the hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Flow here if you'd like, nice and smooth. Inhale, you come forward, one breath per movement. Try not to rush through it, feel the whole way through, either to your belly or halfway down. Inhale is your back bend. And exhale, downward facing, few breaths here.
Okay, let's continue with our flow here. Moving like honey, right leg rises. Inhale, sweep up. As you exhale, you're going to step through to warrior two. So right foot steps through, left heel down, left toes fan out, and cartwheel the arms open. Firm the other edge of the left foot. Tuck your right glute under, right knee in line with second and third toe. Tail lengthens down, low belly zips in. So you're lifting out of the waist. Eyes beyond your right fingers, soft gaze. Now keep the legs how they are, flip your right palm, reverse. Keep the bend in the right knee, feel your strength. Extended side angle, right forearm to right thigh, right palm up, left arm to the sky or arch. Bicep by the ear, palm down, reach to the fingers. Keep tucking the right glute under to trust to lean the chest back. So try not to just hang out in your shoulder. Feel your frame, support yourself. Stay here or maybe right hand wraps around the right ankle. It's a nice variation here. So your legs are still supporting you. We're not totally relying on the arm leaning into the leg. And then we'll come back through warrior two and extend your right leg, right arm reaches up and back, revolve triangle. We're gonna flow like this. So through warrior two, bend your right knee, extended side angle, that's your inhale. And then as you exhale, come through warrior two, extend the right leg, right arm up and back. So twice more like this, perhaps maybe you try closing your eyes. Inhale, nice and fluid, left arm up and over. Side angle, exhale, triangle revolved. And last one, side angle, inhale. Exhale, extend your right leg, right arm up and back. When you're ready, we're gonna flow. Cartwheel the hands down, nice and smooth transition. Step back, either to downward facing dog or through a flow. One breath per movement, enjoy the ride. Couple of breaths in your downward facing. Using the breath to enliven the energy within you and around you. Nice and smooth, left leg rises, breathe in. Exhale, step through, warrior two, right heel down, right toes fan out. Tuck the left glute under, left knee in line with second and third toe, tail down, low belly zips in. Firm the outer edge of the right foot. Legs stay the same, flip your left palm, reverse your warrior two. Left knee stays bent. And extended side angle, left forearm to left thigh, right arm to the sky, or arch up and over, bicep by the ear. Reach to the fingers, the fingers matter. Tuck the left glute under, trust to lean the chest back. Or maybe left hand wraps around, left ankle. But keep tucking that glute right into the midline. Come through warrior two, left leg extends, left arm up and back. And then come back through warrior two, extended side angle, breathing in. Here is our flow, we'll do three more. Come through warrior two, left arm up and back. And flow, side angle. One breath per movement. Moving like honey. Last one. Side angle. And then we'll meet back with the left leg extended, left arm up and back. Revolve triangle. When you're ready, we're gonna flow. Cartwheel the hands down, all 10 toes face forward. Step back either to downward facing or last flow here. Feeling your inner strength. A couple cycles of breath here in your downward facing.
Good. Now let's bend the knees and look between the hands. Walk or step to the top of your mat. Forward fold when you get there. Halfway lift, inhale. And exhale, forward fold. We're going to rise, root down with all four corners of your feet, arms sweep up. And exhale, lower the arms down. Preparing for Vrikshasana tree pose. So you can bring the hands to touch in front of your heart space. Focus your eyes on one point, something that's not moving in front of you. Weight into your left foot, lift your right heel. Turn the right leg out to the right from the glute so you're not leading with the knee. Hip bones stay facing forward. Tone in the belly when you feel ready. Right foot either to the ankle, toes can hover on the ground, to your calf, or you assist to the inside of the left inner thigh. Notice here the tendency is to want to just lean and hang out in the hip. Engage that bottom leg. Press your right foot into the left leg, left leg presses into the right. And then maybe here the arms start to climb up and you feel this lift in your heart space and perhaps the gaze follows. Softening the shoulders, so you're draw, drawing the shoulder blades toward one another. Just focus one breath at a time. Slowly bring your palms back to touch. Take your right foot off of the left leg, flex your right foot, take your knee forward. Now without leaning back, so keep lifting nice and tall, your right heel extends forward, feel your right thigh engage, and then lower down. You can stay with the sensation or you can shake it out, whatever you choose. If you're staying with the sensation, just be with it. Now let's do a simple switch to the other side. So when you feel balanced, your left heel lifts, turn from the glute out to the left, and then maybe toes hover, foot calf, or foot to inner right thigh. Really engage and firm that right leg. It's your support rooting down as you grow tall. Connect with your balance, unattached one moment at a time, and then perhaps the arms climb, the heart climbs, maybe the eyes lift. Beautiful. Bring your hands back to touch in front of the heart space. With control, take the left foot off of the right leg, flex the foot. And then take the knee forward without leaning back. Kick the left heel forward, feel your quad engage. Nice activation here. And then lower down, stay with the sensation or shake it out. It's okay, whichever one you do. Now let's inhale, arms are gonna sweep up, breathe in. As you exhale, come through, forward fold, hands through center or circle all the way through. Bring your feet completely together. Lift your heels, bend your knees, and then open out the knees to the side so heels in towards each other. Let yourself melt down, garland pose. You can be still or you can sway from side to side. It's a nice little release. Then we'll come back to center, closing the legs. Plant the hands down and step back to downward facing dog. On your next inhale, come forward to high plank. As you exhale, you can take the knees down and we'll lower onto our bellies. Bend your elbows to the back of the mat. Tops of the feet pressed down, arms down by the side, palms facing down. We're gonna come into locust shalabhasana. Now loop the shoulders onto the back. Now you're gonna lift your forehead and chest, pubic bone down, low belly lifts. And then here, hands could lift off the thighs, chin in so you're not cranking the neck. You wanna keep the flow of energy. As you do this, find this sense of ease and calm so we're not triggering that which is out of balance, so we're not 
causing any anxiety or overstimulation. One breath at a time, maybe toes point so much, tops of feet lift, knees, thighs. One breath at a time. And then you lower, make a pillow for your forehead, stack your palms, rest the forehead on the hands, be still or sway. Beautiful. Bring your hands by your upper chest, elbows in, tuck your toes under, inhale, push up. As you exhale, downward facing dog. Good, now we're just gonna bring the knees down onto the mat. Swing your legs over to one side, come onto your sit bones. Take your legs forward. We're gonna extend the right leg out to the side. Left knee bends, left foot to the inside of the right inner thigh. I always like to adjust and just have the sit bones connect down to the mat. So if I might need to move a little flesh, maybe you wanna give yourself a little lift on a blanket. Right foot is flexed, so your right knee is facing the ceiling, the sky. You can always use a block here and place the block on the inside of your right inner leg here. Right palm can be up. If this is too far down, you can always just place your right hand on your shin or your thigh. Left hand on the waist. You're going to slightly twist away from your right leg, so to the left. And this might be enough. You can stay here or maybe left arm reaches up and over. So the chest is open. We're inviting in another lateral. So that side stretch we've been working with today. So either hand on the leg or right forearm to a block. If you can, you can always reach for your right big toe with the left fingers, but that's not the goal. We want to really feel the pose and honor where we're at. And sometimes we don't need to go to the fullest physical expression to receive the benefits. What makes it potent is your presence, your connection with the posture. Beautiful. Come back to center and we'll do a simple switch. So right knee bends, left leg extends. Adjust again so you feel that connection with your sit bones down to the ground. Left foot is flexed, maybe a block. So you wanna feel the leg engage so that the pelvis can be nice and rooted in the ground. Right hand on the waist, twist a little to the right. Left hand to the left leg or left forearm to a block. And this could be it right here, hand on the waist. Sometimes it's perfect. And perhaps maybe you try right arm to the sky today. Chest open. Bow the right side of your body. Nice smooth breaths. Beautiful. Back to center. Block aside. Scoot yourself up on your mat so that there is enough space for you when you lay down. Feet planted down, arms down in front of you, palms face each other. You can always hold on to your tights or your legs if you need to. We're going to slowly roll down. Belly pulls in. Try to get the lower back to touch the mat first. It's okay if it skips. It takes practice. Articulating the spine. Coming all the way down. Let's invite in bridge pose. So we'll plant the feet down, heels close to your glutes, feet hip width distance apart. And when you're ready, you're gonna press your feet down, gently engage your glutes and lift the hips up. So your palms could just stay down for support. Or if you'd like, interlace the hands behind you, walk the shoulders under, press your arms into the mat. Tail lengthens towards the knees. Nice, soft, smooth, calm breath. Weight is even on both sides of the legs. One leg is not dominating. 
find a little more height, a little more lift. Then release your hands and slowly roll down, upper back, mid back, lower back, release your glutes. Give yourself a moment to feel. Let's extend the left leg out long. We'll invite in a twist. Right knee pulls in. Left hand to the outside of the right thigh. Guide yourself over to the left side. So roll on to the left side. Right arm opens up, palm faces up. And then wherever is comfortable for your neck. So we're not pulling and really trying to force our way into this twist. Just let gravity do the work for you. The body will unfurl naturally. Soft breath in the abdomen. We'll make your way back to center, re-level the hips so they're even on the mat. Right leg extends, left knee pulls in, right hand to the outside of the left thigh, left arm opens up. Guide your way over to the right, roll onto the right side body. Connecting with your twists, inviting in the sense of balance and harmony. Back to center, re-level your hips, bring your knees in toward you, give yourself a nice hug. Your head could stay on the mat or if you'd like you can lift to a tiny seed, acknowledging your efforts. And when you're ready, extend your legs out long into Shavasana. Take up as much space as you'd like. Maybe give your hips a little wiggle, a little sway, a lift in your chest, slide the shoulders under, get comfortable. Release any effort or control of your breathing, closing your eyes. Let your ankles just fall open, legs are heavy. Hips are open. Soft belly. Chest and shoulders relaxed. Arms heavy. Jaw relaxed, head heavy. There's nothing left for you to do. This time is here for you to deeply nourish yourself, to receive your practice. Allow the energy within you, the prana, life force, to organize itself into balance, harmony, and coherence as you lay here in this ultimate state of receivership.
Noticing what it feels like to be at home in the center of your multi-dimensional being. And know that you always, always have access to this. You can slowly and gently begin your return by deepening your breath. Start to bring some movement back to your body, however you wish. Maybe you move your toes, your fingers. Maybe bring your arms up overhead for a nice big stretch, stirring your body into wakefulness. Bring your knees in toward you, give yourself a good hug. Rolling over to one side, pause on your side for a moment. Noticing how this fetal shape feels to you. Inviting in a couple of deep breaths into your upper back. Tuning into the energy of gratitude. And when you're ready, we'll come up to a seat to close the practice together. Find a tall spine. Connect your sit bones to the ground. Hands on your lap. Soften your gaze. Take these next moments here with yourself, with your breath, noticing what you've cultivated. Place one hand on your heart, the other hand on top of that hand, slight bowing of the chin and notice how this gesture feels to you. On your next inhale, invite in the sense of freshness and aliveness. And as you exhale, welcome yourself home. Thank you so much for your trust and for sharing your practice with me. From my heart to yours, namaste.